Alicia here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day one subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. You are genuinely appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, gems. Uh, you could have been experiencing some kind of delays or interruptions in your life. Uh, this is the third time I've attempted to do your reading, and that is not like me. I'm, I usually bang them out like that. So let's see what's going on. A uh, spirit has been placed upon my heart to do a continuation of the 5D conversations. Uh, also, please excuse me, Mercury Retrograde. Uh, my, I've been having a little bit of trouble... Uh, words coming out right so i'm just asking you to bear with me it's mercury retrograde baby i will do my best so just work with me but um so this series it provides guidance for areas of your life such as love money career health and of course spirituality this guidance comes from the fifth dimension for those of you that are on new earth and those of you that are on your way so the very fact that I say new earth and you know what I mean, you're on new earth or you're on your way there. So I don't even need to explain. If you gravitate towards these readings or they resonate with you in any area of your life, you vibrate at a higher frequency. So you get me. Spirit wants to talk to those of you that are woke as fuck. Okay. So as you can see, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. If you are interested in a personal reading or a live over the phone reading, uh, take a look at the information in my description box. You can hit me up at uh, Harmonic Wave and we can bang that out and get it done live over the phone. Or you could also book me for a personal reading and we can get answers and clarity for your own unique situation. All that and more information is in my description box. So please feel free to look around. You never know. You may just find what you are looking for. Okay. So... Gems, hmm. we have here five of coins in reverse. So uh, I have to say, you know what? I, I'm feeling this energy of being proud of yourself. Mm -hmm. And now I'm hearing that Drake song. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so proud of you. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So Geminis, you could be feeling very proud of yourself right now or you need to. Mm -hmm. You should be because you worked really hard to get yourself out of a situation. It could have been with someone or something, an experience. Uh, I feel like some of you, eh, you've learned how to release toxicity from your life. This could be people. This could be circumstances. This could be experiences. Some of you, you worked really hard to claw, I'm hearing, claw yourself out of poverty, mm -hmm, of just not having enough, having a lack mentality. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you were broke, broke, and now you're not. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. And you know what I feel? I feel like that's for you, Gemini. Like back then, nothing not going for you, right? You're broke. You're not really sure of what you're doing. You're in these toxic relationships with people, uh, going through these toxic experiences, and just shit you just weren't enjoying your life but you worked really hard to cut things out that did not serve you and did not add value to your life anymore mm -hmm. and you know what it comes from you learning how to know what's true for you mm -hmm. gemini's for those of you that are still in this situation are still experiencing these things spirit wants you to learn how to be true to yourself this is 5d consciousness Thinking higher, vibrating higher, doing things higher from a higher state of consciousness. Okay? So, Geminis, for those of you that are not here yet, mm -hmm, like I said, those of you that are already on in New Earth, New Earth is not a place you go. It's a place you create. It's created around you. It's from your consciousness. Right? So, for those of you, I feel like you're in a process right now of, of uh, creating 5D around you. Mm-hmm. By getting into this, um, this energy of realizing your worth and realizing what you want for yourself of being in your truth. What's good for me? What's not for me? Seeing the bigger picture of your life. Mm -hmm. Somebody really cut some shit. When I say toxic as fuck, someone cut somebody something out of their life. Some of you, you are in some kind of job, working at a job that was like sucking the life force out of your ass. 
Mm -hmm. And spirit wanted, to real, wanted you to realize that if you want any changes in your life, you have to make them for yourself. You have to believe in yourself enough. And most importantly, you have to know what you want. Mm -hmm. I saw this um, meme the other day with Mr. Bean. And it was like, if you, when you know what you want, the universe just conspires to work for you. And he was like walking over rooftops, walking over all this shit. And he wasn't even paying attention to all the obstacles he was walking over. Uh, all the challenges that were up in front of him. He just... He had his focus on his phone and he knew he wanted to get to the water. And that's what he was focused on. And then when I say the universe made a way for him, okay? And spirit wants you to know that just you need to figure out what you want and be sure about that and walk in your truth. It's what you want, Gemini, not what anybody tells you that you should have or what you should be doing for your life. This is 5D consciousness. This is learning how to think for yourself. This is remembering that you are sovereign. And you need yourself before you need anybody else. As a matter of fact, you don't need anybody else. It's a want. They don't have to be there. Okay. So, when it comes to love, gems, you got wheel of fortune in reverse. Some of you, you were dealing with a situation with somebody, like I said, they could have been toxic as fuck. Mm -hmm. Stagnancy, delays, that was the interruption. Every time I tried to do a reading, I would mess up. Someone kept messing up with you, Gemini, or some of you, Geminis, you kept messing up. Mm -hmm. Now, some of you kept doing the same things. I feel like this is a situation of trying to control the outcome of things, uh, being so worried and not trusting the universe, not trusting the processes of the universe. Uh, Spirit wants you to learn how to uh, have faith and trust that God's got your back. Okay? The universe has your back. The universe supports you, protects you, guides you. And it's not for you to try to control the outcomes of things. It's just for you to do your part. And that is realizing what your truth is and moving in that. Mm -hmm. Some of you, when it comes to love, you kept repeating a cycle with somebody. And spirit was like, you need to learn how to let this shit go. Let this shit burn. Mm -hmm. It was a toxic, karmic cycle with somebody. Mm -hmm. And it was a lot of, uh, ooh. it's like bad karma. It's like anything that could go wrong with this person, it went wrong in the relationship. Mm -hmm. It was like you kept trying. <laughs> I'm hearing that Aaliyah song. If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. You can dust it off and try again, try again. Now, uh, Spirit wanted some of you to stop trying and start doing. Mm-hmm. Stop trying to work on something with somebody and just decide to let something go and move forward in your life. That's why things were stuck or stagnant or delayed. That's why there was a lot of interruptions in your life. It's because you had to let someone go and I feel like you didn't want to. Some of you were holding on for dear life to somebody who did not have any good intentions towards you. When I say somebody was toxic, I am seeing uh, the devil card in my third eye addictions, addictive behaviors, uh, somebody, hmm, somebody was a sex addict, yes, and somebody was holding somebody with sex, it could be, you could call it even sex magic, right, mm -hmm. because once someone gave you the goods in the bedroom, you forgot why you were mad at them in the first place, and this is not a good way, this is not in a good way, this was a, I'm gonna fuck you so good, you're gonna let me keep doing my fuckery, Mm -hmm. And spirit was like, you need to cut out the shit, Gemini. Cut it out. Because mm -hmm. you have things to do. You have places to go. Mm -hmm. So, Gemini, for those of you that this resonates with, spirit wants some of you that are on your way to creating new earth around you. You're not supposed to be an old earth anymore. You're supposed to be a new earth. Okay? Spirit wants you to continue to raise your consciousness. And how do you do that? You get into your truth. Mm -hmm. You embody what and who you really are. Mm -hmm. And you decide that. Some of you, you let somebody tell you who you are because it benefited them. Right? You were not moving forward in life because someone had you stuck on this karmic cycle mm -hmm, of bullshit. Some of you, when it came to your love life, you had a, a lot of outside influences. This could have been just third party. Some of you are with someone who would just cheat on you mm -hmm, all the time. And they had no intentions of stopping because as far as they were concerned, 
They could just come dick you down or give you the goods in the bedroom and you would let them do whatever the fuck they wanted. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why for some of you, Gemini spirit was like, you needed to get in your truth and do what's good for you, not what's good for anybody else. Mm -hmm. Some of you, spirit wants you to learn how to let things go and trust the processes of the universe. And some of you have already learned that. Good for you. Now, when it comes to money and career, Gems, you have six of wands. Mm -hmm. So things are going good for you. And if they're not, they will be. They absolutely will be. Like I said, some of you, you worked really fucking hard to get out of poverty. I'm hearing poverty stricken. Some of you, you did not have a pot to piss in. Mm -hmm. Now you have three bathrooms. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Three bathrooms and an ensuite bathroom. You're doing real good for yourself. Somebody bought a house. Mm -hmm. Someone bought a rental property. That's really good. And you worked really hard. Uh, someone worked really hard to improve their credit. Mm -hmm. Yes, on New Earth, you have good credit. Mm -hmm. On New Earth, you know how to manage your money. Mm -hmm. On New Earth, you are well aware of what you're doing with your finances. Very, very good. Very good. Gemini, however, Spirit wants you to, it's okay to be proud of yourself. That's why I was hearing that Drake song. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so proud of you. Now I'm hearing it remixed. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so proud of me. Gemini, be proud of yourself for how far you come. It was not easy, right? It's not easy to pull yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like uh, someone went from rags to riches, like that kind of story. And you didn't do it in no get rich quick scheme way or try to bamboozle anyone. It wasn't anything that had to do with no type of scandal or anything fraudulent. You really worked honestly. Right, And you worked hard and you worked smart to get to where you are. So Spirit wants you to not to, you don't have to hide that you're happy and proud of yourself. Spirit wants some of you to express your gratitude as well. Uh, express how you feel. Mm -hmm. I feel like some of you, you feel like... Uh, you feel like you'll be gloating or boasting if you, you act a certain way. Gemini, you worked real fucking hard to get you to where you are, and you're, it's okay to have an attitude of gratitude, okay? Don't let other people make you feel like you're not allowed to express uh, how happy you are for how far you've come. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to uh, be true to you. This is being true to yourself, right? Being real with yourself. Mm -hmm. If you're happy, show that you're happy. If you worked really hard to get somewhere and you want to go and uh, pay for a five-star vacation for yourself, you go and you fucking do that. Don't feel bad about that. Don't let anyone make you feel bad about that. Because these people in your past mm -hmm, are these people that you need to cut the fuck off and cut out of your life because they're toxic as fuck. They don't want you to recognize your worth. They don't want you to be proud of your accomplishments, right? Mm -hmm. Because all it does is shows them what they're not doing in their life. Mm -hmm. It's like somebody who wants you to feel small so that they feel big. And Gemini, I feel like some of you, you are making yourself or you are not acknowledging your own value because you don't want to uh, rock the boat with anybody or you don't want anyone to feel bad. That is their fucking problem, Gems. Really and truly, it, it's their problem. You do not dim your light so that someone else feels bright. That's not how it works. We are all responsible for our own spark. We all have 24 hours in our day. What you decide and choose to do with it is purely, solely on you. Gemini, you decided to get off your ass and get productive and get to work and get shit done. Don't feel bad about that. And don't allow anyone to make you feel bad about that either. Be proud of yourself. Mm. When it comes to your finances, Gemini, you're going to be doing real good if you're not already. Some of you, you're doing really well. Like I said, someone bought like a second rental property. Yes. Uh-huh. Somebody is purchasing like a really big property and you're going to do something with it. You're going to change it into something and it's going to make you so much bank, you're going to be laughing. That's why it's like spirits like, listen, man, Relax yourself and be allow yourself to be happy, right? Mm -hmm. This is new earth living. You're allowed to be happy here. You don't need anyone's permission, honey. Okay? Mm -hmm. Stop repressing your emotions. Mm -hmm. You don't need to do that here. 
Spirit wants you to recognize yourself, recognize your worth, recognize your value. Mm -hmm. A lot of you, you are going to be advancing even more when it comes to your career. Some of you, like I said, you cut off or uh, some people out of your life. Uh, I'm hearing boss. Some of you, you quit a job because your boss was a piece of shit. Good for you. And you're going to be coming your own boss. You work for yourself, baby. And it's going to work out really Sorry about that. Really well for you. Mm -hmm. So spirit wants you to feel good within yourself because when you feel good, you create good things. You manifest good things. When you feel abundant within yourself, you create more abundance for yourself. So spirit wants you to not hold back with yourself from yourself. You understand what I'm saying, Gemini? Hmm. Now, when it comes to health, Gemini, you have five of cups. Mm hmm Gemini, somebody in this collective, they have agoraphobia. Uh, I hope I said it right. Agoraphobia or uh, social anxiety. Spirit wants you to work with somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, a spiritual counselor, uh, counselor, someone uh, that can help you deal with your uh, mental health. This is, uh, this is caused from uh, sadness, depression. Someone, because of the things that you've gone through in the past, this could have been relationships, this could have just been uh, relationships and experiences that you had in your life, it causes you to not want to really interact with people. And Spirit wants you to come out of that, mm -hmm. come out of that energy. Uh, there are people out there to help you. I myself, I do personally offer uh, intuitive spiritual, spiritual counseling sessions, and they have to do with emotional wounds, inner child issues. So if that's something that interests you, uh, please feel free to take a look at the information in my description box, and uh, we can get an appointment booked for you, and we can take care of that. But somebody uh, is dealing with mental health issues, and that's because of sadness and depression. And Spirit wants you to go and seek professional help. This is even doing little things like um, just going out for a drink, going out for lunch or something with a trusted friend or family member. Mm -hmm. Someone that genuinely cares about you, someone that you trust. I swear I want you to get back out there and slow, slowly but surely, slow and steady wins the race. No one's saying you have to go to some concert or, you know, go to some big event or uh, just... Go and sit with somebody. Go and sit in a park with someone and, you know, have a smoothie. You know, but somebody really needs to get out. Spirit wants you to get out of the house. I know with pandemic and everything that's going on, uh, you may have been loving this, but Spirit's like, no, 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 no. You need to come out of this now. You need to um, mingle and interact with other people. Uh, some of you, you do have new love coming in. And in order for you to attract this person and bring this person into your reality, you have to heal this. Mm-hmm. Now, when it comes to spirituality, Gemini, you have the star in reverse. Some of you, you've lost faith, and this goes back to you. This is all connected. Some of you, like I said, you've been repressing things. You've been repressing your emotions, and this has manifested in mental illness. This doesn't mean that you're crazy or anything like that, or you know, you're not the sharpest tool in the drawer, or knife in the drawer. It doesn't mean anything like that. It just has to do with you not wanting to really socialize with people because of anxiety, stress, sadness, or depression. Mm -hmm. Like I said, someone does not go outside. I'm seeing someone, you're, you're in your own little world at home. Like you, Pandemic did not affect your ass at all because you live like that anyway. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to take time for yourself. It's okay. Uh, solitude is important. We all need to go into hermit mode from time to time to reflect and do introspection. But Spirit said this is not the way to live. Mm hmm mm hmm I feel like spirit is ushering you into new earth. And in order to do that, you have to deal with your, your energy, uh, raise your vibration, of course. Uh, but I'm hearing deal with your mental. It's the way how you think. Mm -hmm. Somebody has panic attacks. So you just don't even bother with people. Yeah. I'm seeing someone wrapped up on, um, in a blanket, very cozy, mm -hmm. on their couch with a book. You have your dinner in front of you. You're good all by yourself. And that is a good space to be in. But Spirit wants you to recognize that uh, there is more. There's more. It's like uh, I'm seeing an energy around you that's trying to expand. And you're just kind of like keeping to yourself. And Spirit wants you to know that uh, 
uh, you may need to speak to someone or it doesn't have to be anyone professional for some of you where this is not as serious. Spirit just wants you to go out and mix and mingle and socialize, right? Uh, you are a human being and you are here to interact with others. Relationships is about interaction. It's about connection. That's how you expand. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you are, are currently speaking to someone. You could be speaking to a counselor or a, a spiritual uh, counselor as well. Uh, somebody's taking therapy, and this is really good for you. It's helping you to come out of your shell. It's um, reminding you of your own creativity. It's helping you to be intimate with yourself, to really learn how to be vulnerable with yourself so you can learn how to be vulnerable with others. This is also helping you to be more grounded and stable and secure. Uh, so whoever is going through uh, therapy right now or counseling, keep doing it. Spirit wants you to know this is really good to help build, um, heal your, uh, what is it, your solar plexus or your sacral chakra and your root chakra. That is really helping to balance that area of your life out or those energies in your life. This is going to help you to really... Um, I'm hearing teamwork makes the dream work. For some of you, this is helping you to be able to work with other people. Mm -hmm. And for some of you, this is going to allow you to open up uh, to other, uh, I'm hearing suitors, uh, romantic possibilities. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you have other energies. You have uh, a love that is supposed to come into your life, a new love, and you're blocking it. So spirit wants you to heal uh, your energy, uh, heal your mental so that you can allow this new love in. Somebody, you have, it's like, a, <laughs> I'm hearing birds of a feather. I'm seeing like two birds. What kind of birds are those? Uh, are those budgies? Mm -hmm. And it's just like two budgies together, like you guys are two peas in a pod, but you're not going to meet this person if you don't get out and socialize. Mm -hmm. Now, Gemini, some of you have lost faith, and Spirit wants you to restore that faith. That is why Spirit's saying you need to be true to yourself. People go through things all the time. I am not discounting anything that you've gone through. Believe me, I would never do that, baby. I've gone through the fire, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, Spirit wants you to not, um, not dwell on the past. It's time to let some things go because this is what's affecting your mental. Spirit wants you to be, that's why I heard atti uh, attitude of gratitude, to find things in your life to be grateful for. For some of you, you have the very fact that you're alive. Because of the things that you've been through, you never thought you would have made it. Some of you, because of the things that you've been through, you thought that you were cursed. Or someone did some kind of juju on you. It's not that. It's just a cycle you went through. You went through, And it's time to close the cycle out. For those of you that are, I feel like you're at the cusp of closing the cycle out. But in order to really, really cement that this cycle, this chapter of your life is over and move forward, you need to let go of this uh, mentality that woe is me or everything goes to shit or nothing good happens to me. Spirit wants you to let go of that energy altogether. Uh, Spirit wants you to let go of this unhappiness. Mm -hmm. This dissatisfaction in your life. You have a lot to be grateful for, Gemini. A lot of you during pandemic and even now, you're doing really well. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you thrived during pandemic. And Spirit wants you to be grateful for that. Because uh, when the wheels stopped turning for some, the wheels started turning for you. So you have everything to be thankful for. And gratitude brings latitude. The more grateful you are for things, the more the universe is like, okay, baby, I got your back. You like that one? I got something better for you. And that's what Spirit wants you to keep expanding your territory through an energy of gratitude. Okay? So Spirit wants you to not give up, to know that you are loved, guided, and supported at all times. Right? This is about raising your vibration. This is about... Uh, holding your frequency. You understand what I'm saying? It's about being happy and staying happy more often. Now, I know that this is a planet of duality and you're not always going to have good days. Everything's not going to be um, lollipops and cotton candy. I know that. But it's about um, managing, right? New Earth isn't, doesn't mean that nothing bad is going to happen to you. You're just more aware of how to uh, deal with challenges and realize that uh, the things, the obstacles and the challenges that uh, come towards you in your life, you've already agreed to these things. You already made a contract for these things to help you grow, mm -hmm, to help um, expand your consciousness. That's what they're for. It's not to hold you back or hold you down. It's for your own personal growth. You signed on for this, Gemini. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, gems. So this is what I have for you. I'm going to pull one last card of guidance and advice from spirit. This is from the Whispers from Within Oracle deck. Gemini, I'm feeling very, um, very light, very expansive right now. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like I'm floating. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm floating, but I know I'm here. Gemini, uh, for those of you where your consciousness is it's up there, you're doing really well. Uh, I feel those spirit wants some of you to remember to ground yourself. Some of you, uh, it would be good for you or wise for you to go outside. Go outside for the, uh, those of you that have your social anxiety. Even if you don't want to speak to anyone yet, just go outside. Get some fresh air. Ground yourself to Gaia so that you feel here. Some of you, you are so, um, what is it? You're so uh, engulfed or uh, what is it? Um, oh, my. Spirit says some of you are hiding on the other side. Mm -hmm. So you're not allowing yourself to fully be present on earth. You're hiding in 5D. And the Spirit said, stop it. <laughs> you don't need to do that. You can, you're a being of higher consciousness. You can be grounded in both places at the same time. Right? Mm -hmm. So Spirit says, stop hiding. Come out of your shell. And it's time to ground yourself on earth because you're needed here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I see someone's spirit guides with them, whispering to them. Uh, sometimes you look outside and you really want to go outside and your spirit guides are beside you like, it's okay, you can go, we're here with you. Listen to them, it's okay, you're safe, you're safe. Uh, someone, you're supposed to call your sister or someone you view as a sister. Uh, go for a, uh, a smoothie or go for a drink with them or something. Just go even sit on your stoop with them or sit in the backyard. But this is your guides. This is your ancestors. Uh, they're preparing you to uh, step out of your shell. They are preparing you to come out of hiding. Stop hiding on the other side. Hmm. Spirit, what last words of guidance and advice do you have for Gemini? Aw, look at this, Gems. You have create what feels good. Come up with a creative solution to a problem today. I feel like for some of you, um, for those that have that social anxiety, Spirit wants you to get creative on just those first steps of being around other people, um, socializing. Be creative with it, okay? Take an artistic class. Mm -hmm. So do something that makes you feel good and you can interact with others at the same time. Uh, energies that are like-minded, vibrations that um, they vibrate at your frequency, right? They all want to do the same things that you want to do. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you are being told to go to, uh, go to a class for people who have social anxiety, uh, even online, and start talking to the other people. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants some of you to bring your creative ideas to life by having the courage to share them with the world. Like I said, some of you, you are not expressing who you really are. Mm -hmm. And Spirit wants you to realize that that's what you're here to do. You're not here to fit in. You're here to stand out. Some of you have some really good ideas that's going to make you some bank. Mm -hmm. And Spirit wants you to share them with the world. That's how you attract. You don't chase. Mm -hmm. Focus on creating good vibes only. I am a firm believer in good vibes only. If you're vibrating low, trust me, you ain't even going to see me, baby, because I'm not here for it. Mm -hmm. So Spirit wants you to focus on creating a good vibration, a high vibration. This is you learning how to be grateful for things. Because the more appreciative you are, the more you accept things, the more you are able to move forward in your life, the more you are forgiving of people and yourself. Mm -hmm. This is how you raise your vibration, by just doing things like this. And Spirit wants you to create what feels good in order to achieve success and to inspire others. Uh, for those of you that have gotten um, out of poverty, that have gone from rags to riches, someone's going to be writing a book. And when I say you're going to be changing people's lives, it's because you're going to be giving them a perspective that comes from 5D consciousness. They never looked at it like that. They never looked at it as... Um, this was me learning how to be the best version of myself and I can just learn how to be in my truth and attract, attract abundance to me. I don't need to chase it. 
uh, uh, I'm seeing someone, someone may have a, a tattoo, another day, another dollar. You're going to be removing that mm -hmm, because you're going to realize that you don't need to chase money. You are here to attract things to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone's going to be getting a tattoo that says attraction brings satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye, bye. Do you, boo? Mm -hmm. But spirit wants you to create what feels good to achieve success. Gemini, to sum it all up, Spirit wants you to do what makes you happy because that is what's going to attract happiness into your life. Okay, gems, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool another time. Like I said, those who this reading resonates with, uh, welcome to New Earth. Those that this reading resonates with, uh, welcome, you're on your way. Okay, so you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.